the ProStop Extend, banging around in the back of my brain for a couple of years, but finally decided to put everything aside and focus on it. As always, I started with thinking about it, staring at it for a long time, and then hitting SketchUp and designing it virtually. And this was version two. Version one is in here. This is version four. It got me a lot closer. Version three is in here. The final version short of that I finished the plans with. This ProStop Extend will make all of the cuts that the standard stop will make. So I don't lose anything on the short end. I started with wanting to use this one along with this one, which is what these did. But then I realized that to have it on there ready to go, I was constantly having to move it or leave it way out or pull it completely off to get this to, for its full range and then switch over to this. So how does it work? I'm using a two tape measure system. One picks up where the other one drops off. I use the cursor in this cursor window to line up where I want my cut exactly where the cursor on the standard stop goes. And all I need to do to make sure that this stop will cut where I want it is to line up this cursor with this cursor. I don't even need to look. I just slide it over make sure that it's flush, lock it down. Once that's lined up, I can move that cursor in and cover everything that this stop will do. Now I can just move this to whatever dimension I want. But how do I make this go beyond the end? That's where the second tape comes in. I set this on 50, lock it down, the cursor right on it. And if I left this flush, I'd be cutting right at 50 inches. And now from 50, I can slide it out to these longer dimensions all the way out to about 104 or over 2,800 millimeters. I don't have a long enough piece of material for out over eight feet, but it doesn't really matter as long as I'm beyond the edge here. We'll pull this in to, let's switch over to metric 1,600 millimeters. Exactly 1,600 millimeters. So now with this block, I can go to zero and the extension stop all the way out to over eight feet. This will be ideal for the professional finished carpenter. The extensions, the long ones, they're going to be necessary. You're going to do your base and your crown. But for everything else, when you're hanging casing doors, casing out windows, when you're trimming out cabinets, all of those things will work ideal for this because you'll get that repeatability, that accuracy you need, but you get to stay on your wheels. So whether you're on a little job, and you just need to tweak it a little bit, or you're on a big job and you need to move it closer to this work, do that work over there, and then move it over closer to there to reduce your step, which I think is the most important thing about the smart wood shop. Also, if you are a weekend warrior, a do-it-yourself, or somebody that just likes to hobby with wood, and you're working in a small space and you're parking your car in there, setting up those long extensions a lot of times it won't work for you, but you need that little bit extra. Plans show you how to build this exact ProStop Extend. But when I was working it out, working the bugs out, and I came up with the final version, I did it shorter because it really didn't matter how long it was. As long as I got everything working, then making it as long as I needed was just extending the piece. But as I was working with this and I had all the hardware on it and the stop on it, I found this to be really handy. So I could see people that maybe they just don't find that over eight feet is ever going to be a thing, but just a little bit more. Also, I built it right hand. I'm only using one. But if you want to have a left because you happen to work that way, take the plans and just mirror it. Or if you want to have two, one on each side, or if you want a shorter one, just make it shorter. So the plans will help you do all of that. The plans are available today, right now, to purchase and download. In fact, we have a, a discount on them as an introductory offer. In addition to the detailed, easy to follow plans, I have produced a companion video where I build this one you're looking at right here from beginning to end. And I'll put a link to that video right up here so you can click on it and go check it out right away. Mahalo.